All right, just a couple of disclaimers before we move forward here. This video is for a specific client, and so it may apply to your situation. It may not. The other uh, disclaimer is that for the particular client, uh, I hope this is what you're getting at. If it's not, we'll continue the discussion with another video. All right, so that said, uh, what I have here is an electrical panel, and I got a receptacle. I'm going to go ahead and place the receptacle in here using my uh, electrical fixture. It's placed and if we go ahead and circuit it so I'll select it here create a power system select the panel that I want to circuit this to got to make sure that it has a distribution system so let me do that first realize that as just as I was clicking so let's go ahead and hover over this tab to get the circuit select your panel I'm not gonna worry about naming it there's our circuit and if we select the panel we have 180 volt amps. So you would think then that if this needed to be adjusted, you select the receptacle, you go into the type properties and say, no, this really needs to be a 220 instead of a 180 or something like that. Go ahead and click. You would think then selecting this, it would be 220, but it's not. Okay, so what happens here is that's a type property that isn't necessarily associated with the electrical connector. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the family, I'm going to edit the family. And I'll select the electrical connector. And it's really pretty simple here. The apparent load for this is 180 volt amps. If I just click on this associate family parameter, there's a good chance that there's going to be a parameter in here called load. If you don't, you can create it. Uh, but I'll just go ahead and select the one that's already here. If you don't have it, just go to add parameter, type in load here, make sure it's an electrical loads type of uh, parameter, etc. I'll hit cancel and click OK. So the idea is then in the type properties, the apparent load is tied to this parameter called load. All right, it wasn't before. They were two just kind of ignoring each other. So let's click OK and then load it into the project. I'll overwrite the existing per, uh, parameter values. And again, if we go to type properties, it says 180 for the load. If I select my panel, it now says 180 as well. Oh, actually, I didn't change it, did I? Let's do that. Let's change it to 220. And maybe what we might do here, let's uh, do standard and then have, you know, 220 and then change this to 220 and click OK and then click on the uh, the panel and you see that load is now being pushed through. So again, you may do this in a different way. You may create your own additional parameter, family parameter within the the object. But the the whole idea is that you know you, if you want to have some flexibility with a family, for example, you can certainly do that by creating additional types and making sure that the connector, then that connector element, is is tied here if you select it to or associated with another family parameter get that little equal sign in, and that way you can edit it through the family types uh, or the type properties of the object.